So let's begin our discussion on a magnetic force that exists between two parallel wires. Let's suppose we have the following diagram in which we have our two parallel wires which are separated by distance given by D. Now the electric current in wire number one and wire number two point in the same exact direction that is in the positive direction along the Y axis. Now the electric current in wire one is given by I1 and the electric current in wire two is given by I2. Now, anytime we have an electric current moving inside a wire, that electric current will produce a magnetic field. Now also recall that a current carrying wire placed into an external magnetic field will feel a magnetic force as a result of that magnetic field. So that basically implies that both of these wires will feel a magnetic force as a result of the magnetic field that is produced by the other wire. So let's begin by examining the magnetic field B2 that is produced by wire number 2. So inside wire number 2 we have an electric current given by I2 which produces a magnetic field whose magnitude is given by the following equation. So, the magnitude of B2, the magnetic field produced by wire 2, is equal to the product of the ratio mu naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by I2, the electric current in wire 2 divided by D, the perpendicular distance from wire number 2. So, this is the magnitude of our magnetic field. What about our direction? The direction of our magnetic field produced by the current in wire number 2 is given by right hand rule number 1. So, we essentially wrap our hand around our wire in such a way so that our extended thumb points in the same dire direction as our electric current. So, we wrap it in the following counterclockwise direction direction and so our magnetic field points in the same direction as the motion made by our curling fingers so it points in the following counterclockwise direction. So, the magnetic field B2 will reach wire number 1 and the distance between this wire to this wire is given by D. So that means the magnitude of our magnetic field at this point is given by the following equation. Now, the magnetic field produced by electric current in wire 2 will exert a magnetic force on wire number 1. Now, how exactly do we determine the direction of this magnetic force? The direction of this magnetic force can be obtained by applying right hand rule number 2. So we take our right hand and we essentially point our hand in the same direction as our electric current in wire number 1, so we point it upward. Now at this particular moment, the magnetic field as a result of wire number 2 points out of the board, so that means we bent our fingers in the same direction as our direction of our magnetic field and then we extend the thumb and the thumb points in the same direction as our magnetic force. So the magnetic force F1 acting on wire 1 as a result of the magnetic field produced by wire 2 points in the following direction towards wire number 2. Now that gives us our direction. What about the magnitude? Well, the magnitude that a wire feels as a result of an outside or external magnetic field is given by this equation. So, F1, the force that wire 1 feels is equal to the product of the external magnetic field B2 multiplied by L, the length of the wire that we're considering multiplied by the electric current in that particular wire given by I1. 
1. Now, B2 can be replaced by the following equation, and we see that the force F1, the magnetic force wire 1 feels as a result of the magnetic field produced by wire 2, is given by the following equation. So we have the product of this ratio, mu naught divided by 2 pi, multiplied by I1, I2 divided by D, multiplied by L. So we replace B2 with the following equation. Now, mu naught is simply the permeability of free space. It has a value of 4 pi times 10 to negative 7 teslas multiplied by meters divided by amps. Now, let's move on to the following diagram. In this diagram, we're going to examine the magnetic force acting on wire number 2 as a result of wire number 1. So once again, we're examining wire number one and we want to locate our magnetic field produced by wire number one. So we apply right hand rule number one to determine the direction of our magnetic field B1 produced by wire number one. As seen in the following diagram, our magnetic field will form concentric circles that point in a counterclockwise direction. So our magnetic field will extend all the way to wire number two as shown in this diagram. And the magnitude of this magnetic field is equal to the following equation where now our I2 has been replaced with I1. Now this is the magnetic field as a result of current I1 in wire 1. So now to find our magnetic force acting on wire number 2 F2 as a result of the magnetic field produced by wire number 1, we apply this equation except now we're using B1. Our external field is B1 and not B2 and our I1 has been replaced with the electric current in wire 2 given by I2. So if we plug in our B1, we get the same exact equation as in this case. So we see that the magnitude of the force on either one of our wires carrying an electric current is given by the following equation. So once again, U naught divided by 2 pi multiplied by I1 times I2 times L divided by D, where U naught is simply the permeable ability of free space it's a constant i1 is the electric current in wire 1 i2 is the electric current in wire 2 l is the length of our wire and d is the separation distance between our two wires so now let's look at the following example that will deal with this equation. So two wires of length 5 meters are placed parallel and are separated by a distance of 0.005 meters. If they both carry an electric current of 10 amps in the same direction, let's say in the positive direction along our y-axis as shown in the following diagram, find the magnetic force that either wire fields as a result of the magnetic field produced by the other wire. So we apply the following equation. So mu naught is simply our permeability of free space. It has this quantity. I1 and I2 are equivalent. They're both 10 amps. Our L is given to be 5 meters and the D, our separation distance between our two wires, is 0.005 meters. So we multiply and divide and we get that our magnitude of our magnetic force is given by 0.02 newtons. So this is the quantity of force that either one of our wires feel as a result of the other parallel wire.